Mastodons and mammoths are kind of dime a dozen. Finding a relatively complete skeleton is not, but there's no way to tell until you start digging. So a lot of the places they called wouldn't touch it, and they finally called us and we said, you know, yeah, we are interested in that. Discovery Channel uh, came out and filmed it. The majority of the dig, we found nothing. And it was one of those fabled stories where it's, you know, the last, almost literally the last day that, that they found, like, part of the job or something. And then it, from there on out, it was, it was just this beautifully preserved skeleton. Um, and it was rather quick getting it all out because it was fairly intact and hadn't been uh, spread around so much. We got to spend uh, two or three months digging in the mud and it was just absolutely fantastic. Cleaned it up and, and put it together. And as cool as it is to get him, some of the most fascinating things were the things that we found with him. We saw a lot of peat clumps, which um, suggests a, a very watery atmosphere, organic watery atmosphere. We saw, oh well, well, we found the cypress tree. We knew there was cypress there, which need a very wet environment. We saw little snails and things, again, which indicates a lot of water. It's called Paleo Artist, and, and we had one artist that came in and was with us studying the, the dirt and um, put together this mural here on what uh, his environment would have looked like 14,000 years ago. So just from, just from looking at his bones and from the dirt around him, we know that he died in spring, that he had a severe injury, that he died with the injury, we know from elephants today that when they get injured, they seek water. He probably sought water here in this bog and either got stuck in the bog and couldn't get out or died of his injuries. He's, he's really quite complete and very, very beautiful. You know, of all the fossils we have of past life, um, and, and we have zillions, right? You have to have really particular circumstances in order to be fossilized, if that's what you want to be when you grow up. 